okay in this video we will talk about the search workflow action in splunk okay so if you remember from my previous video we talked about the get workflow action right now search workflow action works in very similar way so we, we are again will be again adding to that that of that particular workflow action in in either event menu or field menu right field action menu now in search workflow action the difference is like we will be running a predefined search okay and that search can be we can use tokens as well in in that in the particular search that means the whole search string will be formed dynamically okay while when we will be running that particular search okay so that means for each and every field or each and every event we are basically trying to run a search against it okay so that's the whole idea behind the search workflow action now to create the search workflow action we do in similar way we'll go to settings we go to fields over here okay now in the workflow action we'll be clicking on this add new now the destination app i'll choose tmdb now because we are working on our on our tmdb app only okay now the name of that workflow action let's say what we are trying to do it today is suppose for each and every movie genre we will be running some search okay that that will that will not be tokenized search there is a normal search on uh, and also we'll run a second search we'll be doing we'll be basically updating this particular workflow twice now the second search will be a tokenized search based on the popularity level we'll, uh, suppose if i for a particular movie if i just wanted to know what are the movie what are those movies in my index which are more popular than this one so we'll we'll run a search in that, those cases okay so we'll name it as search underscore workflow okay now label first let's say give expand expand okay so before before i do that one let me show you the data so if i just go to our tmdb app and go to our index tmdb underscore index okay for all time i'll choose this one now if you see this general general id this is a json array right so the first search what we are trying to do is whenever i'll be clicking on this particular field and select that particular workflow action so what we'll do like that will basically expand that mv expand that particular general ids right so if i if i just say it over here okay so this 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 three general ids over here right so this this will be there will be three rows over there instead of a single event for this particular movie id there will be three rows over there okay so let us try to see that one now expand i'll just give it a name called expand jenner id okay now for which field it will be applicable so if i just copy the field name here I'll be copying with this curly bracket only because this is the extracted field name. We have to copy as is. Okay. Now, again, we are not. We'll be not giving any event types over here because we have not defined any event types here. Okay. So if you have event types, you can always include this over here. I discussed in my previous video as well how you can manipulate, how you can use these two fields to basically control on which event your your workflow action will be applicable. Okay now show action in both let's say okay and action type will be important over here it will be search okay now if you see when i when i choose action type equals to search here it opens up this this particular stuff right search configurations where it will allow me to give a search string here okay so i'll give my search string something like this one index equals to tmdb index okay now let's say i'll just stable it table couple of couple of thing like let's say original title overview general id i'll just take this one original title that's the movie name overview is the short description of that movie and the and the general ids okay so if i just do that one now now if i say like what what we have to do is for each and every movie we will be selecting over here right so if i if i just say 
each and every movie will be selecting it over here right so we have to pass this movie id as well to that search okay or let's say initially we will we will just we will just develop a search which do not take any 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 kind of input over here any kind of token over here okay so we'll do it for all all general ids let's say mv expand mv expand general ids okay so let's 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 do this one let's be very simplistic initially okay so if you see for this particular movie as it belongs to three genres over here okay so it is it is creating three three rows over here okay so we'll give this this particular search over here okay so it, it does not take any input that means whenever you click on for any event it will basically show you for all the records over here okay so we will see that one as well how to how to make it um, uh, parametric as well okay we can send token over here as well okay now run in app you can choose whatever which app basically the app context over here okay i'll be choosing tmdb over here but you can choose any of this app where you can you want to run this particular search over here okay now open in view is that view you want to search basically name of the view for the search to open in okay it, it defaults to the current view and run search in either current window or new window as as we have seen previously as well now even here as it is a search workflow action you can give time range as well over here okay i'll be giving all time zero to now okay now even even there is an option to use the same time range as the search that created that particular field listing over here okay that is also you can choose it over here i'll just click on save over here now before before we we see this workflow in action let me show you the file it created okay behind the scene so if i just go to etc apps tmdb app folder okay now inside the local folder for workflow actions so it creates a conf file called workflow underscore actions dot conf file okay so previously we have seen this one we for get workflow action right so our thing is not showing up here because we, it is still still private okay let me let me make it global over here okay all apps i'll just make it read write i'll just save it okay because the app context is tmdb now so so tmdb now over here so it will be saving over here now if you see this file has been changed and it, it is it is showing up over here okay so now let us see this workflow action workflow action in action okay so if i just just see just take the index over here okay now workflow action as we as you have seen previously it can be triggered from here only so if i just click on over here okay so as we have chosen to show this particular workflow action either in event action as well as in in field action over here okay if i just show you over here the search workflow so we have choose both we have chosen both over here but for the event event it will only appear for this particular field okay so if i just click on over here okay we have to it, it it is it is not it is not showing up over here maybe because we have the refresh is not happened so we have to rerun the search again we have to open this search window again and and rerun this search basically okay let me do that one i'll just copy this one i'll click on over here Okay, I'll paste this one and I'll run this one for all time. Okay, so now let us see whether it is showing up or not. If you see, it is it is showing up over here. Expand. If I just click on that expand general ID, it runs that particular search. Okay, over here, and it shows up for all the movies over here because we have not still not passed the movie ID token over here. That's why it is showing up for all the fields. Now we will try to tokenize it so that it will only show for that movie where we are clicking over here, right? W on which movie ID we are clicking over here. Okay. Now, now the, if I just show you the event action level, the, the field action level. So this is the field, right? So over here, if I just s click on here, it should show up over here and it should do the same stuff. What whatever it is doing at the field level. Okay, this this event level. Now, now for it should not show up for other other fields as as we have mentioned our field in in while while defining this particular workflow action, right? Now let us try to 
parameterize it or tokenize it is this one okay now for that what we, what we will do is for original title right so let let me let me go back to this to this search let me go back to this search so id is our movie id over here right so we'll pass this movie id here id equals to dollar dollar id okay so we are passing that id field value over here okay as a token value so that whenever suppose i am clicking on this particular event right so it will only filter the whole result set for this particular movie id and then it will expand its genres okay so so let us do that one let us see whether it this guy is working or not i'll click on save in similar way we have to we have to make it refresh so i'll just click on this search over here okay i'll paste it over here i'll select all time i'll run this query okay so if i just see let's let us see if we have a movie with multiple genres okay this is the best example over here okay so if i just click on here and click on this expand general id now it should filter out only for that movie if you see it is passing that movie id over here and then it is basically mb expanding its its genres over here okay now to give you another example over here so as I, as I, as i mentioned we will be doing a filter on the popularity suppose if we are clicking on a movie and clicking on that particular workflow action it will show you all the movies which are more popular than particular movie right so to to develop that particular search so what we'll do we'll go to our tmdb underscore index again so this time we will play around this guy over here popularity okay so we'll just write a simple search query where where popularity is greater than this this popularity value right the popularity value of this particular movie right so it will give you all the movies which are more popular than particular movie we have selected okay so to create that workflow action we will be doing in similar way so we will just create a new workflow action over here okay we'll just name it as search underscore workflow one okay let's level it like find find more popular okay popular movies i'll just level it okay so it will be only applicable to the following fields so it in this case it will be our popularity field right so our popularity field will have that particular event action workflow action over here okay now it will show under let's say this time we will do only for the fields menu okay not it will not show up in the event menu type will be search over here our search string will be the search string we developed okay so we'll copy this till this point okay greater than dollar dollar the popularity of that particular event right so we will be passing that popularity value as a token over here okay so run in the app tmdb this will leave it as as it is default one and run search in new window and we'll always search with zero to now over here because i have event in similar way because i do not have event in for past 24 hours okay so that's why i'm just choosing this one so you should be choosing this earliest and latest time based on your need over here okay so if i just click on save now and again we'll be setting up its permission over here just like we did for other workflow actions right now now we will search it okay so what i'll do here i'll just cut it i'll paste that one run it for all time so that we are just refreshing over here right so now if i just click on over here that workflow action should not show up over here if you see only that previous workflow action we created search workflow action we have created and the get workflow action we have created it's showing up over here right now let us go to the popularity field now that particular workflow action will be showing up over here if you see it as expected find more popular movies right and if i just click on that one now it is it is not sending that one let let's see what's going on over there 
okay we'll go over here let us see whether everything is fine okay i think this is the issue over here we have a we have a space over here okay i'll just remove that one i'll save it now let us see whether whether this is working or not okay so we will just again refresh it this one we'll run this one for all time okay now we'll just close the other stuff so that we will not get confused so for for this first event for this popularity field we'll just run this one now okay and it should show it should pass that popularity value over here and it should extract those movies where this popularity value is greater than 3.942 which is the current popularity value of of the event i have selected over here okay so this is how the search workflow action works in splunk okay so hopefully this video is helpful now in the next video we'll talk more about post workflow actions and other stuff related to workflow actions as well okay see you in next video